Hey guys, how's it going? This is Reggie. Holy crap, it is sunny. Jesus. Um, hey, so this weekend, went to uh, go watch uh, John Wick's uh, third movie, uh, Parabellum, I think it's called. Um, uh, went with the wifey to check it out. Um, so, first of all, I, I don't know if I'm going to say any spoilers or not, but I'm just going to say it right now. Spoilers ahead. So, if you haven't seen the movie and you don't want to know about it, um, you know, go watch another movie or go watch uh, another video or something. But, uh, just FYI, spoilers. So, when I saw the movie, and I have to say, that was one badass movie. Okay. It, it, it's, it's pretty sick. Um, I would say it's close to probably as good as the first one. If not, yeah, it's probably as good as the first one. It's not better because the first one was, you know, first movie. So uh, it's definitely better than the second one, in my opinion. Um, but it is, it is good. Holy crap, it's good. There's so much action in there, which is great. There's, there's a story in there too, right? But it's not like boring story. It just, it's pretty much like non-stop action. Uh, the amount of violence, <laughs> it's it's good it's it'll satisfy you in every way now my wife she's not into this type of violent movies but even she's admitted that she, she liked it she liked the amount of violence that it had and that scares me uh that she liked it uh i highly recommend going to the theater to watch it we um we went to the xd theater at century uh i've never been to the xd so this was the first time um but I will say, now that I have experienced XD, we will be doing XD all the time. The sound is amazing. The um, the theater itself is massive, which is so good. And the, sc <clears throat> the screen is huge. So you really get to enjoy the, the movie from whatever area you look at, you're at. Now, if you're sensitive to sound, you know, if you can't take too much loud sound, um, sounds and stuff. I, d I don't recommend it because it gets loud. It, it's 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 loud in there. Uh, to me, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, maybe I'm partially deaf. I don't know. But I enjoyed it. Um, it really got get you into the movie. And the screen is so massive. It's like I've never been to an IMAX theater, but it's it feels to me like it's an IMAX style. Like it's it's freaking huge. So yeah. Um, so anyway, back to the movie. It's so good. You, it just starts off, you know, it starts off kind of like, oh, okay, nothing's happening, nothing's happening, and then it just, it happens, and then the, like, in the movie, the audience were going with the, the sound, like, when, the, so again, spoilers, right, so there was a scene where um, he took a knife and he just stabbed somebody in the eye socket, but it, it wasn't just a stab, it was more of like a trying to stab but the guy was blocking it but he just kept pushing pushing and just uh, into the eye socket everyone in the audience including myself and my wife were like oh uh, like you could every time some kind of a hardcore violence scene happened the audience reacted now when you can get the audience to react to something like that in any movie doesn't matter if it's violent or if it's comedy or whatever if there's the, that kind of an audience interaction boy like like you that's a good movie in my opinion like that is what you're talking of a good movie you know and almost every violent scene that came which is a lot <clears throat> had some kind of uniqueness to it and man like th there was a shotgun scene for well not one several shotgun scenes where he just blew like fucking blew off the dude's head and the audience were like oh shit like you could hear the audience just reacting to it now with the Halle, Halle Berry scene uh, there was those dogs and those dog scenes were freaking amazing uh, I don't know if they were CG or if they were real in the fighting scenes part but if they were real damn those were some good dogs um, those dogs <laughs> whew, again when they were biting off the dude's dicks off all the guys, including myself, were like, "Oh!" And we, you could, you could see we were holding ours. We're like, "Oh shit, that must hurt!" Like it was so good, you know. Everyone we were, was were reacting to the various types of 
violence that was introduced in that movie. Damn. It was amazing. Now I'm just thinking about it and I want to go watch it again. Um, it was just so good. Now there are scenes that are a little bit too slow, right? For example, the, because the fighting scenes, uh, the violent scenes are so hardcore and so over the top, um, that the normal fighting scenes kind of become a little boring because you are now expecting something amazing to happen. Because almost every violent scene that comes up, something unique happens. You know, something that gets you to scream and shout and react with your body or something because you feel that pain. So when there's a when there's a normal fighting scene, you're like, okay, um, when is something unique gonna happen? And I know it sounds weird, right? But trust me on this. They've introduced a new level of violence. And so when they go back to the standard level of violence that every movie has, you're kind of like, oh, this is boring kind of a thing. And, and that is like, I know it's weird, but that to me was a little disappointing because the normal fighting scenes, and of course they can't keep doing fighting scenes left and right um, that are unique. Because I mean, you're gonna run out of ideas. Oh, I get it. But I think they could have shortened some of the fighting scenes. Um, it just it just became a little too long when it was normal, when there wasn't any kind of extra stuff included. Uh, for example, at, towards the end when he was fighting that bald guy, I forget his name, but uh, the sushi guy. Um, that fighting scene was good, but after all the good stuff kind of went away, it kind of got a little boring because it was a little too long. Um, so they could have shortened that fight scene just a little bit, taken out some of the normal boring um, fight parts to it, in my opinion, right? Uh, another thing that I um, noticed is that, like in the Halle Berry fight scene, there was a, a, a part where she was shooting people up and then she ran out of bullets, so she hit the guy, the, the bad guy, with the gun. The guy fell, Ellie's on top of the guy uh, trying to reload. And this just says bad acting by the dude. So the, you can tell the guy is conscious, right? So the guy who got hit with the with the gun, she, he is conscious, so he looks up and he looks at Hallie and he's waiting for her to reload the gun so he could so she could shoot him. So in my opinion, um, what happened was like I thought that was something really stupid. Like you really get to, got to see the bad acting of that st stunt guy, whoever who was, right? He could have not done that. He could have just laid still or looked more dizzy. But you could clearly tell that he's now just putting his head up, looking at Halle to reload the gun so he sh she could su shoot him. He could have made it more entertaining by, I don't know, trying to fight or something, pretending to fight. But it was just, just really bad acting by his part. Because Halle took so long to reload the gun. It's like, okay, dude, you had plenty of time to kick her ass. But you just stood there looking at the gun, looking at her, reloading and then get shot so that to me was a little boring when the movie was over I was like please don't let it end let it there be another uh, John Wick and with the ending that there that was oh you bet your ass there's gonna be another John Wick which is perfect because now he's gonna take on the fucking high table the big dogs and he's gonna partner up with uh, Morpheus I, I don't know his real name I'm gonna call it Morpheus so there you go so that's gonna be fun that's gonna be really fun. I can't wait until they come out with the next one. I really hope they keep this style of action, you know, because I to have the third movie be as good as the first one, that's amazing. So I'm really hoping the fourth one is as good as the first or the third. I don't want it to be as good as the second one. I want it to be better. And again, second one was good, but I want it to be better. <clears throat> now, one thing I forgot to mention, there was a scene where um, he goes into the vault, uh, John Wick, and he, he and the guy, um, the manager asks, what do you need? And when John said, guns, lots of guns. Why was that a Matrix reference? You know damn well that was full-blown Matrix. Everything about that was Matrix, okay? There was a lot, in my opinion, of Matrix in this movie, which was amazing, I liked it. It just, I don't know, this movie was really awesome. Um, so yeah, so what do I think about the movie? <clears throat> I definitely give it a thumbs up. Like, 
I give it, I give it a two thumbs up um, for this movie. It's really good. It's well worth the money to go watch. I highly recommend it. Um, here's the thing. A lot of people are going to hate when I say this. Both wife and I thought, and we believe, this movie was significantly better than the Avengers Endgame. Yeah, I said it. It was so much better than the Avengers Endgame. I, it just, this appeal, this movie appeals more to me, and I'm a Marvel fanboy. Stop the haters saying you are not a fanboy, blah, blah, blah. So, um, I do, I, I do like Marvel, right? I do want them to keep making movies. But, the fact is, to me, this movie was better than Avengers Endgame. It really was. It had everything I needed. It wasn't too goddamn long. It wasn't so, it wasn't boring. It was just perfect. It just exactly what I needed that day. So, yeah, if you if you haven't seen it already, I highly recommend it. Go check it out. You're gonna love it. Um, you know, and uh, and yeah. Hey guys, like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and comment below. Do you if you haven't seen it? Um, you know, go watch it, of course. And if you have. Uh, comment below. What, did you like the movie like I did? Uh, did you think it was badass? Did you get the references to Matrix that he made? There was a couple. There wasn't just one. There was a few that he did. And are you excited as I am for the fourth one? And do you hope and pray that it will be as good as the first and the third? Please let it be. Let me know down below, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.